can't do another field of cows. Like, just look at these views. And to be honest, it reminded me a lot of the Appalachian Trail. I was really getting in flow there. But we have made it to Trudal. I think now there's going to be a little bit of road walking. Let's go. beautiful people it is thursday the 12th of may it is 8 44 in the morning i've got four miles to get to Borth, and then from Borth to aberystwyth it is going to be six miles i've got 10 more miles to do and when i get to aberystwyth i'm going to be meeting up with alex mason so you may remember alex because she joined me last year and walked around anglesey with me when i was doing the tough girl uk adventure series so it'll be great to have her back to join me for a couple of weeks and so far i've done 3.3 miles so plus this extra 10, so it's actually quite a gentle day, about 13 miles. It's almost like um, a Nero day, to be honest. Well, it is for me, so onwards. This is a really useful map, just giving you an indication of how it's worked. So the Wales Coast Path is this blue dotted line. So you may remember we did that beach walk along here before I cut out just by the golf course to go stay at a hotel right here. Um, after I had that amazing five course meal, I then the following day, I left at 10.30 and then headed back to the beach, walked all the way along and then up into the mountains. This was when it was raining and then we carried on. We go off the map for quite a bit uh, before crossing a bridge and then coming back down this side, which is what I did yesterday. Um, so we did all of this and this morning, I wild camped somewhere around here. This morning, we've passed through Tridal tree tassine <laughs> i apologize for my pronunciation i'm so sorry and then we're just currently uh you are here so great so this is where so we're going to be quite a flat walk a little bit of a squiggle and then get to both the plan for both ideally i want breakfast in both or i'm thinking a bakery to have breakfast in both but basically breakfast both that is the plan it's about um three miles so we are already it's 907 so possibly if i can get there around quarter past 10 that will be pretty awesome as i say no real massive rush today because alex doesn't get to the train station until 20 past five so i've got some stuff in my backpack which i haven't used in the past two weeks right pop that in the post i might also try and go to primark and get a new pair of leggings because these ones are a bit see-through and got holes in so could be quite a jam-packed day. Breakfast in Bor, six mile walk to Aberystwyth. Look to see if they've got like a Primark. I might even buy myself a new pair of socks as well. Could be a lot going on today. Then meet Alex and we're gonna stay with Alex's friends. And then we'll do some planning for the next couple of days because there's a few other people who want to come and walk with me and various people who've offered me accommodation to go stay with them. So I just need to give them dates and let them know where I'm gonna be, all that fun stuff. But first, where are we going? Borth, which is that way, onwards to Borth. I have to say, this section is so beautifully signposted, it just makes it super obvious which direction you need to be going in, which I love. Look, clear as mud, boom. team i almost had a little cry i was walking along just going no no i just i just can't do another field of cows like i can feel my eyes welling up it's like i just cannot face dealing with that i could see like the style and i was thinking oh and then there's cows and then what looks like a further style i was thinking that's gonna be the way isn't it it's just gonna be the way and then i saw this sign bosh both 
one mile that way. Oh, thank God I do not have to walk in a field of cows. I've generally always believed that, um, almost like the more you get exposed to something, like you're, you're gonna get more used to it and therefore become more accustomed to it. And so it is gonna become easier over time. What I am finding with the cows, which I'm starting to find really strange is, I'm finding it more and more difficult. Like every time I come to a field of cows, I'm starting to dislike it more and more and more. And it's making me more, is anxious the right word? Maybe not, maybe a little bit more just stressed, I think, where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to walk through fields of cows. They, yeah, they stress me out. So anyway, we're not. <laughs> One mile to ball. Well, that's where we're going. And we are in Borth. So this is Borth High Street. Time is 10.18. I said I would get here at 10.15, so not too bad. Plan is, let's find a bakery, let's find a cafe, let's get some food. It's just gone one o'clock and I finally left that little cafe that I was sat in. Nice breakfast, had nice hot chocolate, but now it wasn't that warm inside though. Couldn't be brave coming out. So I, mean, I don't have massively far to walk, six miles, got about five hours to get there. So there's no stress, but I am absolutely Baltic. Need to get walking, get warmed up and also go to find a post office at some point. That's my next challenge. quite inland which I have actually enjoyed because you've been out of the wind but it's so nice being back on the coast yes there's a lot more wind but just look at these views and that water like the turquoise and the green like just stunningly beautiful so yeah five miles to go five miles to Aberystwyth yes let's go meet Alex come on this because you've got options so you can either sort of take this path up here which is the direct route up or you can just go along this gradual grass route and do like a switchback up I think we'll take the switchback what would you choose the stairs or the switchback comment down below let me know we've got an incredible staircase just behind me apparently there's gonna be a hundred steps so let's find out I'm gonna count them as I go up yeah. to the top how are we doing? So I've done 8.8 .8 miles. I've done 18,154 steps. Press a button, wrong button. Press another button. I'm coming up to almost two o'clock. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 70, 71, 70, 72 to here. I don't know, you've really count them. Less than a minute. Woo, woo. I think it's worth showing you some of the descent ascents as um, between Borth and Aberystwyth. So quite a big descent down, curve round, join that road, and then you can see the path, so then leading onwards and upwards in that direction. Folks, that's Aberystwyth. That's where we're going to. So the train station is sort of like right in the center. So I'm gonna continue walking around the coast and then it's about four o'clock. So we've got loads of time. I might go and try and find a post office so I can post uh, this package back home. That would be amazing. That would be a great job done. Let's uh, see how long it takes to get down to town. Hopefully not too long. Oh, very cool. I found it. So let's go post this, uh, this stuff home and save me a little bit of weight. All done. Took less than three minutes and cost me £3.30. Woo, so great job done. My pack feels lighter already. Right, what's next on my job list? Oh, maybe a new pair of pants. I really hate shopping, but I think I have found a couple of potential replacement trousers. So I could either go for some shorts. I quite like those actually. And they would go with my blue and my pink, wouldn't they? 
A or B? You'll soon find out when you watch the vlogs later on when I change my pants. I'm actually wearing my new pants now and we'll go and pay for them. Everyone wave to the floor! Hey! <laughs> <Woo! laughs> 